Hey everybody, it's Eric again, and uh, we're back on the roof of the car today. Uh, we just taped everything off and uh, papered it out just to keep the uh, dust from getting inside the car while we're sanding here. So we went through and put um, Rage Gold, or Rage Ultra, what is this, Rage Ultra, um, on all the super low spots around the car that we know about. So we're going to sand those down now. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and skim coat this whole thing. So I'm going to start with this stuff now. All right, we got this thing covered. Um, it's really hard to work on this stuff right now. It's about, I don't know, upper 40s today. Uh, and this stuff's really thick, high viscosity. So it's really hard to spread. Um, and it's taking forever to cure too. Um, so we bought the halogen lights out, um, baked this thing a little bit. Um, so that we can start sanding, but uh, we got it got it all covered. All right, it is the next day. We got all of that stuff done. So everything sanded down here. Uh, put the epoxy over any of the bare metal spots that were there. Uh, so we're gonna clean things up a little bit here, and then it is time for some slick sand. So we're gonna put uh, I don't know probably two coats on here. We'll see how it goes. Um, it, it's still got some issues to it, um, but you know, a lot of this stuff is going to get sanded off, uh, so I'm not really sure how this is all working. This is really my first attempt at a huge big panel like this, you know, so there's stuff like this that still needs to be sanded, but that was a low spot before, so I'm just going to gonna have the slick sand over that, and most of that's probably going to get sanded off, and hopefully it'll we'll see how it fills up the little holes and things like that. Um, we did go over this with 180, but there are still um, 80 grit scratches in, in it and stuff. But uh, I'm going to use the slick sand as an experiment and see how it does covering this stuff up. Uh, most of this is pretty good. You can see it's all pretty, pretty nice and not a lot of deep scratches and stuff in it. Uh, but there are still some imperfections. I don't know if you can see this here right there. Yeah. Um, so we're going to give this a shot. Uh, like I said, see how it goes. And uh, take it from there. It's cold again here. I know you're all laughing when I say it's cold. It's 40 degrees here, but when you're trying to spray filler and put on body filler and stuff in 40 degrees, it's slow going. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to uh, mask the car off again, keep all the crap out of it, uh, and then off we go.
right, so that first coat went on pretty well. <clears throat> I think I put it, could have put it on thicker on this side of the car. Um, you saw from the spraying, it went pretty well. And the, the fan's not too wide with it. It's a little narrow fan, um, but it, it did okay. You see the, the texture's good. Um, I also went over this spot right here. It's a good way to see the texture right there, hopefully. Yes, yeah, so I've got my junkie camera out today, so uh, that looks pretty good. Um, so this is the uh, FLG4 uh, with a 2.2 tip. Uh, there's no reducer in it. Um, running 23 PSI, wide open fan, wide open fluid, and it's sprayed out just fine, so no worries. I know a lot of people have said this stuff is really hard to spray, um, but with a 2.2 tip, I didn't have any issues with it. And it's cold too, so. Anyway, we got about five more minutes, uh, then we'll put the second coat on. Um, I mixed up 32 ounces. It looks like it's going to be just about right. I have a little bit left over, so 32 ounces will cover this roof, sail panels, and a little bit down here uh, is uh, one quart. All right, we're all done. Um, I ended up having enough uh, left after the second coat to put another light coat on. Um, so that 32 ounces was kind of two and a half coats, but maybe I didn't spray it on heavy enough, so um, Something like that. But anyway, it, it went on real nice. You can see uh, Looks pretty good. So it's got you know, a little bit of texture to it, but not too much uh, Looks pretty good I'm real happy with it. Uh, there's I don't think we're done with the roof um, As you go along here, you can see little dents and things here and there, so certainly more work to be done I'm hoping well here here's my plan and uh, let you guys let me know if you think this is a good plan or not so I'm gonna let this sit over the weekend and then Monday what I'm gonna do guide coat this and lightly sand it and look for any major low spots and put glazing putty on it right there let that set up and then go through and block the thing down um, with the hope that uh, we can get get all the the big stuff taken care of before we block it down um, and uh, hit it from there and see how it goes now I'm guessing to block this down we're gonna hit it with the uh, 80 to start with I'm not sure about that if I, or I should start with 180 um, it's a good question I have to research that and see what the right answer for that is but uh, uh, I sprayed this panel over here. There's just some really light scratches and stuff in here So I think this will they're gone. You can't see them. So I think we're good there um, I'm gonna walk here on the other side Take a look at this side of the panel here uh, It looks pretty nice. There's where that big dent was and it's mostly gone. There's a, a little crater right there and then there's this stuff but you know, the slick sand actually filled those in pretty good. That may, that may sand out. Oh, at least, let's see. Uh, sail panels look pretty good. There's a little bit of whoop de doos in it still, so I think we're probably gonna have to do some more work there. This panel here, we were really struggling with, because there was this big high spot right here. So it had this weird shape and I couldn't figure it out. But once we put the, this filler on, it showed us, there's a big low spot right here. So there's that big crease dent that goes down. So it actually comes up and then down and up again. So that's why it felt so weird. Um, so we need to pull this out and then mash that down. Um, I kind of stopped working on this just to concentrate on the sail panel up. Um, but that's an area where that putting something glossy on there, you know, lit it up so you can really see what's going on better. But you know, most of the other dents we got are pretty well gone. You know, there's some, some wonkiness here and there. So it'll be fun to see when we block it down how good it looks. Um, like I said, I don't think it's going to be done, but I'll give it a try. So anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks everybody for all the all, all of my subscribers and commenters. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, hopefully this looks good to you. I was going back and looking at the uh, original pictures when this was all rusted. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go way back in the, in the early videos and look at this before I started sandblasting and stuff, and look at how far this has come from then. But Anyway, thanks again, everybody. Uh, take care. Have a good weekend.